this video we will configure distributed deployment lab we already know what is distributed deployment what is standalone we discuss all these theoretically this is our topology for distributed deployment we have sg security gateway separately in a separate box and we have security management server and separate box okay we have smart console so these are three tier architecture which is deployed separately okay we have a lan we have a wan and we have dmz zone so we have three zone inside outside and dmz as well and dmz we have two server and inside we have two pc to test the communication and this is our management uh, switch where our security management server is at edge our smart console is at edge and we have a windows server 2012 later on we will use this one as well but right now it's there now uh, these are the ip schema checkpoint when ip address is 172.29.129.1 so we will assign 172.29.129.1 to our when interface and we gonna assign 192.168.1.1 .1 to our lan interface we will assign 192.168.2.1 to our DMZ interface of security gateway. Okay, so that's why I mention all these here. Our management IP is 192.168.114.50. This is our security gateway IP. While security management server, we will change IP to 100. So this is 50, this is 100. And our smart console IP is 192.168.114.2, sorry, dot one. So one is smart console, 100 is a security management server, and 50 is security gateway. And we have active directory, which is 200. All these belong to the same subnet management subnet, which is 192.168.114.024 subnet. While 192.168.1 one is LAN subnet, and 192.168.2 is our DMZ subnet and this is our WAN subnet 172.29.129.24 our gateway IP is dot .254 in my case okay your management can be different you can keep these two but your WAN and your management may be different in your case so you have to follow your topology so these are the things which I told you these are the switch I'm using IOL IOU switches. These are IOU switches, which is Linux based and Docker. I will use Docker. You can use Windows XP, Windows 7 or Tiny Core Linux as well. But because I have professional edition, so I'm using Docker, which is start quickly. Okay. And internet cloud, I'm using net for internet and professional. Okay. LAN uh, PC IP, I already told you. 1.10 and 1.20 here we have two server 2.10 and 2.20 and dmz so this is our topology we need to create this one and these are the ip schema i already told you and the thing which we have we are doing uh, distributed deployment where security management server is separate security gateway and separate box and we have a smart console to access security management server to create each and everything policy and then we can push them to security gateway so let's create this topology okay so what i need i need three switches i need two security gateway one we will make them security gateway second we will make them security management server and i need one window server and i need four dockers so let's go to eve and here i need checkpoint so let me type checkpoint security gateway basically i need two but let me take one and change the name to security gateway okay if you want you can increase the name as well and click save so this is my security gateway and i need another one as well so checkpoint and let's take another one with the sms means security management server so these are the same thing but when you configure you can make them separately okay next thing with uh, i need uh, three iol switches 
so let's go to IOL and any switch you can take in my case I'm taking this one and change the name to switch and how many I need I need three and change the icon to switch so let me change the icon to switch and click save so now I have three switches okay so what I can do and uh, let me see this is LAN switch this is DMZ switch and this is management switch so what I can do I can one put here one here and one here okay so let's change the name this one is right click edit and you can change the LAN to LAN switch done and this one is right click edit and you can change the name to DMZ DMZ switch and finally this third switch we have management switch so let's change the name to management switch so we change the name so it's easy to understand them okay and now what we need now we need dockers so one two three four we need four dockers so let me right click and go to dockers okay and here I will choose the docker Eve GUI servers which is server as well and you can use them as a client as well so let me write down PC and here I need four dockers okay and you can change the icon so let's change the name to this one desktop by the way two I need desktop and two server so let me change the name to two so this one by the way we give them PC1 and PC2 so I can change the name to PC1 and PC2 so right click edit and you can change the name to PC1 and save and now again right click go to edit and change this to PC2 so now our LAN PC are ready but I need two more dockers for DMZ so go to dockers and here again choose GUI server to this time SRV and change the icon to server but let's choose this server so I will make these because these are web server as well so let me put this server here and let's change the name to S per hour topology uh, it should be server 1 and server 2 so let's change the name to server 1 and we can change the other name as well edit and we can change the name to server 2 right okay so now these are ready next thing I need a cloud so that I can reach to the security gateway and security management from my system so right click go to network and change the type to management and here smart console give them a name smart console and save and let's put them here and we can connect this to this switch okay and also Windows Server which I will need in next lab so what I can do go to Windows Server choose Windows Server 2012 and what name I give them I name give them Windows Server and change the name to Active Directory and I believe is enough and save so we will use later on this one so I put the server as well okay and now I need to finalize like this okay so what I can do let's put yeah I need one cloud as well so go to network and this time choose net cloud and change this icon to cloud and put them internet so this is our internet okay and let's connect this to the by the way we need to connect management first so this is the management interface of security gateway the first interface each zero which we configure as a management okay and also connect this to the security gateway first interface okay which is each zero done and also let's connect this to the active directory as well so our management is connected now let's connect the first interface to the internet eth1 okay and let's connect interface 2 to the lane okay 
and now what I need to do let me make them the third interface I will connect them to the DMZ so I connect third interface to DMZ and now I need to connect this first interface to PC1 and now PC2 so let me choose this PC2 okay done and now I need to connect the first interface to server 1 which is in DMZ and I have another server in DMZ as well so I will connect this one to DMZ2 so we are almost done now I what I need to do I need to configure them let's start this one so at least it will start because it's taking time and let's start this one as well now what I need to do let's give them a style so let's go to flowchart okay and save and let's this one is sorry don't want to st start and I need to configure them first and flowchart I believe I make them these two flowchart I don't want to start because I did not assign the IP address yet so let me make them proper you can select and you can choose this one okay and now this one so edit style and make them this one okay and also let's change this one as well and let's put them like this and let's put them like this okay so I think so it's okay now and let's change this one as well I don't know which style I give them so yeah it's like a flow chart so save and this one is also flow chart okay and now this one is okay and let's choose this one and select to make them proper and what else we need now we need to assign IP let's start the switch as well okay okay and now don't need to start this one right now and we don't need right now this one now the IP schema which we choose but before IP schema uh, let edit this one and type here LAN because this is our LAN and right click on this one edit style and put here it should be when there should be when yeah and now this one right click edit style and type here DMZ so this is our DMZ let me put above okay and this one is management so we can type here MGMT so this is our management so okay so we have LAN we have WAN we have DMZ and we have management now the IP schema we can go to text and here we can type 192.168.1.0 slash 24 and you can select make them bold and you can change the color to green because this is our LAN subnet okay and let me put them here this is our LAN subnet and let's change this to 2 and change the color to orange and let's make a duplicate and put this one to DMZ so this is our DMZ subnet and let's change this IP 172.29.129 slash 24 this is our WAN subnet let me make them a red and we can put them here so this is our WAN subnet and for the management one so management we are using 192.168.114 slash 24 and let me change the color to something else and this is our management okay this is our management now the IP schema IP what I will do let me write down dot 254 this is our gateway keep in mind this is our gateway so our next hop will be this one and let me make another and put here 
this one we will assign first IP and also it means 1.1 and also this should be 2.1 and for management one this should be also 1 and management we have 50 so let me write down here 50 so our management is 50 means uh, 114.50 and let me need another IP for the so for this one we choose 100 114.100 so let me change this one to 100 okay and as far as the console so console we have IP 1 because this is my system and for the I believe don't need a console let's write down here and Active Directory we will assign 200 so let me change this one to 200 and let me make them proper so this is our IPs now what else we need uh, we need uh, some style so right click and go to custom shape and square rounded and solid color border make them 3 and change the color and save okay so this is our lane okay and right click duplicate and we can make them like this a bit down okay and we can make them like this and we can change the color to something blue done and let me make them a bit down like this and let's duplicate okay and let's go to DMZ okay and let me make them more and here is DMZ and let's change the color for DMZ to something else so let's give them a color green so this is our DMZ for internet let's take a circle and make them three and let's choose the color red okay and i believe we need to make them four to equal that one and we need to change the color to something okay and here is so this is our internet so this is our topology for distributed deployment okay so we done this one IPs we already write down 50 1 1 1 and also these IP and also system this side so I left this side so why not let me duplicate this one and let me write down dot 10 so dot 10 will be the IP address of PC 1 and let me drag this one to here 20 we will assign to PC2 and the same case let me duplicate this one and drag them to here so 2.10 will be the server 1 IP and let me duplicate this one and let me drag this to here and 2.20 will be server 2 IP so now I believe everything is done beside this one so this is our subnet one is smart console 200 is Windows Server, 100 is SMS, 50 is a Security Gateway and we have a LAN switch, we have DMZ switch, we have Management switch. In Management we have four things, Security Gateway, Security Management Server, Smart Console and Windows Server. Okay and I believe this one is done. Now let's go down. So yeah, that's it. This was the topology and next video we will configure first time configuration of security gateway then we will configure SMS and so on step by step we will do all the steps which require to configure all this topology.